be careful when you meet your heroes. I'm saying this now because it was brought to my attention by uh, not just my attention, but everyone's attention since it's a public video of the YouTuber Professional that uploaded a video talking about a controversy that is likely going to uh, go like big public soon. Uh, of revolving around Steven Ogg and another YouTuber that covers GTA content, Hugo One. Uh, I, I don't. Th I think if I'm getting. I think I am getting that name right. Hugo One. And essentially, what boiled down to was, uh, but the professional brought up this guy's video in which he was talking about how, in one of his previous war, uh, previous interactions with Steven Ogg, he asked the actor to portray Trevor in a video, just just for the fun of it. And from, from what I remember from the video, I don't think it was paid for. I think, uh, I was about to see Trevor. I think Stephen Ogg could have just declined the request and just gone on with his day. But instead, he chose to accept the request and half acidly, and also, may I add, uh, redundant for like no reason, just been like a passive aggressive from the start and saying, saying like, and like, I think like his exact words were like, it's me, Stephen Ogg. You know, some of you might know me as Trevor, but I'm an actor, and Trevor's just the character, and uh, I'm an actor that does stuff that for other roles and whatnot. <laughs> of course, I'm paraphrasing. I'm slightly paraphrasing what he's saying, but boiling down, go watch both of their videos uh, to see what's going on. If you're gonna click off of my video for any reason, immediately go to do the professionals video. I'm gonna link his down in, in my description, and then I'm, I'm, then I'm gonna link Hugo's uh, down in my description as well. But still, if you're sticking around, let me explain this. Uh, let me break this down fully. And so that was the first interaction that Hugo has had with Stephen Ogg, and then immediately after, uh, he goes into how doing a cameo. Uh, so he. I paid Stephen Ogg, sorry not, he requested Stephen Ogg's time for over a hundred dollars for this, right? And all he had to do was just read not even a full paragraph of text and it would have been over, right? And instead, Stephen Ogg takes the opportunity to take the cash and send a response video that is half-assed and more complaining about the fact that he doesn't like to be called Trevor than just doing the request. Now, I live in the United States, and one thing I especially don't like when people fuck with all the time is money. Because especially right now, as plenty of you know, we're not in a light recession, we're not in an upcoming recession, we are in the recession right now, motherfucker. It's tough right now, and it's gonna get tougher. I'm telling you, $10 back in 2001, is not the same $10 in 2022, man. And the fact that Stephen Hall Og had the audacity, I'm sighing right now, the audacity to take over a hundred dollars of someone else's cash and not even attempt to put effort into saying the prompt and instead dedicate like a full couple minutes of the video to just complaining about how he doesn't like to be called Trevor. Now, usually I wouldn't be this mad. I'm sure I would still be upset that I, that uh, an actor is being this ups like pissy over a character from years ago, right? But at the same time, you know, we've seen situations like this before. Like, uh, like what's his name? Uh, I forgot. Uh, Sean Fontino, I think his name. His, uh, I think his street name is still Solo. His cousin played CJ way back in San Andreas. And from what I remember... His cousin cut all contact with the internet immediately off, like, uh, not immediately off, but, like, off pretty recently because no one would stop berating him for uh, calling him, hey, CJ, say this, or hey, CJ, do that. And it just annoyed him, so he cut him off on the internet. The difference is that Stephen Ogg is, a is actively being an actor right now, so he's <laughs> pretty much has to be on the internet to catch a bunch of stuff. So understandably, he could be upset being called Trevor all the time, but then again, did he really have to be this rude to a fan? It's you know, it's one thing just being rude about like the artwork itself. You know, like a painter does a painting, and years down the line, someone else comes up to him and is like, "Hey, 
Uh, can you talk to me about that painting, about like uh, what you did to get the colors, why you chose those colors perhaps? And instead of just answering the question, uh, with actually dedicating him some time to ant, you know, doing the fucking thing, he the painter instead goes off on a little, like a little tangent, passive aggressive one, going like, you know, I do other paintings, right? You know, uh, that one isn't the only one I've done. I am a painter. I do other paintings. I, you know, I do other stuff for museums. You know that, right? Like, no fucking shit, man. Like, no fucking shit. This immediately loses my respect because it shows no respect for people that bring you to where you are. Now, as plenty of you know, I do want to be a director. And just for the mere fact that I even have up to seven people that have chosen to subscribe, like, and even comment. A couple, of, I've seen a couple of random comments, man, has brought me such a joy. That it's likely that it will trust me it likely will take me just one step closer to I where I want to be and I will never forget anything I've done to bring me here and what is it that I'm assuming most of you have uh, like at least five of the seven you have uh, subscribed to those GTA videos I've made the, like uh, the projects that uh, they're like a mini like a uh, mini movies and whatnot that you'd see in like uh, <laughs> the in-game GTA theater I'm honestly kind of proud of those videos. Some of them not so much, but I'm not. You're not gonna catch me insulting you if you didn't like the original De Classy films, uh, the original De Classy projects. Because one, I sort of did not really know at all what I was doing when I was making those, and two, you liked them. It's your choice to like it. Well, who the fuck am I to say fuck you for not uh, for liking my stuff? You know, it's the same thing that happened to Idubs, right? Uh, as I can remember, a while ago. Uh, yeah, it actually was a while ago that Idubs was being called a simp and like a cuck because his girlfriend was doing like uh, lewd and almost straight up just actually, you know, just straight up just pornographic imagery of her body for uh, OnlyFans. Now, it was still his choice to stick with his girlfriend through this time, and I don't know if they're still together, but what ended up happening was that he posted a video, a response video, uh, basically saying how much he didn't like being called a simp and a cuck. And sure, that was the beginning of the video, but then it devolved into, you know, I don't get why you guys do the shit you do. I mean, y'all liked Content Cop. I was being a jackass to everyone on Content Cop. You guys are fucking nerds for liking that shit. What the hell's the matter with you? What happened right after that? He fell off, alright? No, ar no argumentation about it. He fell right off right after that. You don't insult the people that bring you to where you are. And YouTube is a strong example of that, right? You see this time and time again, actually you see this plenty of times throughout YouTube's history where people get brought up through like their fan bases, but they're not respectful to their fan bases. So you know what happens? The fans stop watching. The fans stop buying merch. And you know what happens to the creators? I don't know, I haven't seen them in years, man. As a matter of fact, I don't, the only time I heard Idub's name again was for the, like, the wrestling match with a bunch of other YouTubers, right? That was the only time I heard his name uttered again, and even then, I still hear Joji's name being uttered every now and again. I still hear, I still hear him being talked about as Filthy Frank every now and again. And you know what? I don't even think once he insulted his fans with the intent to be rude. I think like a couple times when he was doing Filthy Frank videos, it was like joke insults like, What are you guys doing? Well, I cannot do the Filthy Frank voice. But him just teasing the audience and whatnot, but even then there were like teases. And when it was time for him to leave, he just left. He left a he left a post on Twitter, and he just said that I'm gonna do music, and uh, you guys are free to do what you want now. And he just let him. He just he just let him off the leash and do a, and do what we want with his uh with remembering his content. And you know what? I still remember those videos fondly. And let me tell you, if you if you want to lose anything that uh, tied to you to what you are. That's how you do it. You are respectful about it. You are not gonna go to your audience and say fuck you for liking the shit that I've done in the past. Because that's immediately the first thing that brings you to utter chaos. And I can see this now. If this does get big, and I mean like media big, since GTA is a big franchise as we all know. And the actors, <laughs> every once in a while do get brought up in the news. This could get tragic. Listen, this could get real tragic for Steven Ogg. Simply because, let's face it, 
whether he wants to admit it or not, that character will stick from, with him forever. And if he chooses to be this dis disrespectful, not to the character, or even to Rockstar, but to the fans about his work, this is gonna get tragic quick. And what can I say? You reap what you sow. And this is a good example of what not to do when you're popular. It is honestly frustrating to see this happen, especially time and time again in Hollywood. Oh man, you do you see this time and time again in Hollywood. People just are not appreciative of what brought them to where they are today. And another thing that just takes me off about this is, as the professional said, this costed money. Sure, it was donated money by uh, Hugo One. I have I haven't checked to see if Stephen Ogg's asking price for any of his cameo uh, cameos are over a hundred dollars, or if uh, uh, um, I want to say Hugbees, his name is Hugo One, or if Hugo One just decided to give him a hundred dollar over a hundred dollar donation for this, right? Argue what you want, whether or not that was a smart decision uh, decision with his money. The fact of the matter is. Stephen Ogg took the money, half-assed a response video, chastising the dude that gave him money, and just complained about it, and then did, and like, quotation marks, did the task, right? It's, it's just ridiculous, it's stupid, it's, it's just being, I want to keep saying rude, but it, it's not, like, grasping how I feel. It's just being a fucking asshole, is what this is. We're down to, down to the exact words this is being a fucking asshole right it's like literally it is exactly like if an alternate universe was i was making this video now except i was commenting on like uh hey what do you guys commented on like my five subscriber specials and i'm gonna say fuck you what's the matter with you why'd you like that that's old news don't you see what i'm doing now that's how you destroy your channel and that's how you destroy your career as an actor right he's not doing he's not a ceo Right, he's not a CEO of just, uh, I actually don't think he owns anything, any, like, businesses, but he's an actor. He, he's requested for work. He doesn't offer work, right? He doesn't go up to directors and say, I want you in my film. No, he has to wait for directors to come up to him and say, I want you in my film. It, it sucks, man, because I, 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 I will separate like uh, uh, I will separate the character of Trevor away from the actor Stephen Ogg, mostly because they are performances, as he says. And also, one more thing, I just want to get off on another tangent. He it, another thing that pisses me off about that video is that he downplayed his role. Now, the professional highlight of this well is that the Tre uh, Stephen Ogg downplayed how good of a job he did portraying us a, uh, a semi-psychotic mostly so, uh, sociopathic character uh for the fun times right it, it was a good role it did well and it was honestly funny to see that he was able to uh, just portray it very uh <laughs> just very uh, comedically it was good and it just downplayed that to just a stupid cartoon fuck uh, like a fucking stupid cartoon character it's like, that is the ultimate fuck you to their fans, man. That is the ultimate fuck you to anyone that bought the game thinking, Oh, I really want to play Trevor. The ultimate fuck you to everyone. Honest to God, he should lose his career. If he's going to fucking act this goddamn pissy over a character from fucking 2013, does he deserve his career? Imagine, what if he does a big role and then later on in life, he just doesn't like that he keeps being brought up for that role. Does he deserve to continue being an actor for that? No! Not in my opinion. In his opinion, he could say whatever he wants. In my opinion, I think he should just fucking man up and just accept that this is just going to follow him. And if he wants to just lose it, respectfully lose it, right? Don't get mad at the fans for this. And I, I am especially upset about this because it is the fans and the fact that this did cost money. Now, sure, you can argue that Hugo won wasn't playing very smart by this by he said he said it in his own video that he had an interaction with Stephen Ogg before and Stephen Ogg was already passive aggressive in that and then he went through and had another interaction with him in which it also went passive aggressive and you can say well he should have saw it coming well I counter back with this why should he have why should he have continued to see it coming at the end of the day Stephen Ogg is the one that chooses the fucking words that comes out of his mouth at the end of the day, Stephen Ogg is his own man that decides what he wants to say. And what he wanted to say was being a fucking asshole, alright? 
bare bare bones, bare lines. That is exactly what it was. He was just being a dick because he wanted to, right? Not because he needed to, not because he had to, but because he wanted to. He didn't have to say, oh, he didn't have to, in other words, say, oh, did you know that I am an actor and that I do other characters besides Trevor? Did he really have to say something? Really have to say shit? Any of that shit? No. Did he really need to say any of that shit? Fuck no. Did he want to? Fuck yeah, he did. That's the worst part. He just wanted to be this much of a dick to a fan. And you know what? He could even argue that. Well, I'm. I probably thought it was just like some dumb kid just giving away money like this. Even then, if you thought it was like someone that was like wasn't smart enough to like understand. That you're an actor and you had to rephrase it like twice, right? If you if you are if you're going under that assumption, why'd you take the money? If you're going under the assumption that the person was an idiot or being an asshole, why'd you take the money, right? Was it really was it really because you needed to see that through a cameo video? You couldn't just post like a fucking Twitter video on your Twitter and uh, like link them into it, or, like tag them in it, and uh, in your video just say. I don't like being called uh, Trevor. Please stop doing that. I'm not going to leave anything up to interpretation. It is not that hard, right? He just wanted to be a dick and immediately loses my respect. I still have respect for the other actors, right? And I can already hear everyone else saying, well, you still have respect for the guy to play Michael DeSanta for that thing he was in? I heard about that, right? I was looking into it. It wasn't that fucking bad. You guys need to calm down. And just in case, I needed to bring this up again in case anyone wasn't paying attention for that time. Uh, the actor that played Michael DeSanta got into uh, online beef with some guys because uh, he people were upset that GTA was being remastered again for PS5. And it was like, why are you guys so upset? The new generation is going to be able to play PS5. You guys are just being uh, idiots. And you know what? Sure, it was rude wording, but at the same time, he's an old guy. He doesn't understand the gaming landscape to its full like he hasn't i'm sure he likely has seen the progressive games he's definitely seen how games from like 1993's doom has evolved to like 2020's doom and like how crazy things have gotten but i'm sure he doesn't understand the nuances of how this looks and how this reflects to the fans so i'm willing to let that slide he still has he still has my respect as a matter of fact he still does i think he still does cameos uh playing michael you know what that's especially respectable that he has this much respect for the character and for the fans that liked his portrayal honestly and i think even sean fontino and uh <laughs> fucking lester they still have respect for the fans to where they can like still get into the roles for like 30 second videos right at the end of the day let's just admit the facts it wasn't that fucking hard to just say hey new characters in gta 6 you better watch your backs out there in Vice City, and uh, and uh, watch out for cops and whatnot. Was it really that fucking hard? It's not like you're being paid by ISIS with a gun to your head to say fuck, uh, like uh, burn down America and whatnot. Uh, it, it wasn't that serious, but yeah, he took it that seriously. And even just even better, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this again. He took cash. He didn't have to take the money. He could have just been a man. And declined to offer, sent a response video, uh, not, not a response video, just even a fucking text response. And just said, I understand and I appreciate that you still have a lot of respect for the character I portrayed back in 2013. But as of now, it is starting to wear on me how many people just bring up the character. And I want to show everyone that I can do other stuff besides being Trevor. And hopefully you can understand that and hopefully we can all move on with our day. That would be... 100 million times better than what the fuck he just said 110 percent that was bullshit over the fucking camera and you know something else i want to say i also immediately lost my respect for this da uh, for this fucking douchebag when he was driving with his phone it's a it's one thing when it was the other video and he was walking in like a fucking field god knows what field it was where he was doing there it's just a field uh you know can't blame him for just walking out in the grass but he was in a car, a motor vehicle, man, not even looking, always at the road, just every once in a while, holding his whole attention span at the phone while he's like making turns in like a parking lot. Sure, it's a parking lot, but I, you know what? 
I don't give a flying fuck what the fucking part of the street is. It's a goddamn street. You treat that shit with respect, right? I don't give a fuck how much money you have. I don't give a fuck if you're the godsend, like, seed of Andrew Tate and you can take whatever fucking car you want off the street and drive whatever the fuck you want. Not in my goddamn state. Not in my goddamn country, right? I hate seeing this shit, especially. Listen, I'm a Texan, and in Texas, we hate shit with shitty drivers. Sure, you can argue that Texans, oh, Texans are shitty drivers. Trust me, cops will fuck your day up if they catch you drunk driving under the influence and just being negligent on the fucking road. It is not a laughing matter here in the United States when it comes to driving. You know, in China, maybe. I've seen the way y'all motherfuckers drive out there in China. Out here in America, it is a giant fuck you if you take this shit loosely. Right? Loosely. Honest to God, lost my respect immediately the second he turned his attention away from the road, holding his phone up with one hand and his hand on the other, steering wheel on the other, looking at the phone with his aviators, and just smugly being a dick to the guy that gave him a hundred, over $100 for this cameo. Honestly, fuck you. That is stupid, that is ridiculous, and, I st- and, I still, and I'm still going to stand by this. If, he, if this is how he wants to be now, when he, is, when he said he is a recovering actor, and if he wants to be this much of an asshole when he's recovering as an actor, I don't think he deserves the rest of his acting career. I think it's just time for him to fall off. Honest to God. This is bullshit to its full entirety. But that's all I wanted to say. Uh, if you're all stuck by the video for this long, uh, congratulations. You'll win a cookie in the next video. But for now, I hope everyone has a good night. I am definitely uploading this at night. And I am. My eyes are just a little bit tired. But you know what? I'm going to go and play zombies right after this. In the morning, I hope you all have some pancakes. Because God, I love pancakes.